guys to them uh, today i'm going to show you a simple trick to add your sublime text so uh, edit whatever you want uh, to do that uh, just simply go to your uh, application directory uh, install it application directory uh, application directory and there you go it is uh, sublime text in this case it's here so you have to simply just copy that directory okay you have to just simply copy the directories and now uh, uh, go to uh, go to users then uh, your username in this case is Mago. so uh, here uh, look for mass profile uh, I've created I have already created mass profile so that uh, is here uh, if you uh, don't have a mass profile cre created then uh, you can simply create it by this common plus mass profile sorry so, mass profile and, and just hit enter button and it will uh, create a file called mass profile for you and simply open it up in your browser open it up in your editor and mm, as you can see i have already added my sublime text with uh, git pass with git profile so uh, that's this here and in um, you remember we copied the allies uh, allies of um, sublime so i uh, give it to a name for example uh, sub and now just simply uh, paste it Oh, sorry, the copy the uh, copy directory got out of me. So let us copy that one more. So let me test. Copy the directory and paste it here. And here, uh, there is something you have to do. That is for escaping, for escaping uh, white spaces and uh, to using proper directory, uh, directory wise things. Uh, you have to do something more and that is just simply uh, you'll see uh, then then again then again and remove that program files and then you have to and this and for escaping a parenthesis from your uh, directory you have to use single code that will allow you to use parenthesis and that will only problem so simply uh, uh, this is a directory so program files here and this is the directory so you used uh, uh, this tactic so after then uh, uh, to escape white space we need to use tactic and again tactic and then, then here uh, to follow our directory, we need to use a front tab. So that's it. And now, uh, now just uh, use your sublime text, your ex, your executable files. And that's it. We have added it successfully. And now just let's give it a try. Give a shot on it. So you have to register your uh, uh, git uh, bash software. So it can work for poly. Uh, now just hit the common uh, sub. Oh, well, there's something wrong. C program must pass while all the Well, we we'll see what actually is wrong. Oh, you can see we didn't pass out the tactic here. So it can move our files. And um, that's it. Let's try one more. Mm. Pass uh, sub out. Let's open up. Can you see that? Uh, we have two common here sub of that uh, I was created earlier, and the new common is sub. So it's successfully executed. That's quite if you just uh, if you went going to add a directory on your sublime text, then simply just pass this common sub dot dot twitch and it will add. Can you see that? Just add all of your files into uh, uh, into Sublime Text. 
and that's it. And if you want to create a new files with command line, then you have to just simply add and then pass this command add. So add and file name dot this or whatever. Can you see that we have created the file and now we can um, do here whatever you want. Okay, that's it. And then uh, one more thing is. Uh, if you so we have successfully added sublime text with our git software however if you want to add if you want to add the sublime text globally uh, with your windows machine and you want to access that through your common line or, uh, or powershell or whatever so you have to, so to do that you have to add this globally. So let's uh, do that things also. So just uh, the same steps we have to follow is we have to copy the sublime directory and let's get this here. And now and now just the sub cmd now cstm.cpl and it will open up the system properties and here. Just go, uh, just go to admins and environment variables and here simply you have to add that directory uh, can you see that it's added it here so you have uh, just simply paste that uh, simply paste that directory here and ok 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 and that's it we are done now register to cmd and now just type that command sub and it will open up the command so simple and easy and interesting and this will uh, uh, can help you uh, to get a productive text editor you know so just simply typing your all of the directories files are here so okay guys thank you